Europe and hello Österreich, it's William calling from Willy Blogs. I am kind of excited because today Austria became the seventh country to reveal its Eurovision 2017 singer and his name is Nathan Trent. Are you guys ready to talk about him? <laughs> Let's do this! Yes, Nathan is the seventh artist to be revealed for Eurovision 2017, and he is also the third male solo act. He is bringing another sausage, I know, verse to the party. But the question is, haben wir Hunger? Do we want to eat that? Well, to help us decide, Wee Wee Blogger Robin has done a quick post on Wee Blogs, and she tells us that he is a 24-year-old newcomer ORF decided to select internally this year, and they handed the reins over to a panel of musicians, including... Eberhard Forscher, who is a music legend, honey, and also Christoph Straub, who is, of course, the father of Zoe Straub, the beautiful Austrian who sang Luan DC in French at Eurovision 2016, taking Austria back to the final and bringing Barbie's dollhouse with her. Nathan is truly international. His father is Austrian, his mother is Italian, and he speaks both of those languages. But he also speaks English. We've heard him in interviews sounding very poised. He can work those three tongues. Ah! But he can also work another tongue, and that tongue is R&B mixed with pop. If you look at his single, Like It Is, that is from June 2016. There's a music video on YouTube. You can see he's really striving for that kind of Justin Timberlake realness. There's like a funk, soul, smooth R&B sound. Now, I'm not quite sure he's there yet on the Justin Timberlake front. I mean, at times this comes off a little cheesy and a little dated, but the, the, the important point is that his voice is strong. That's the key ingredient. He can work on production, he can work on the songwriting with the team at ORF. So, you know, this isn't a disaster. If anything, this shows that he's an upstart, he's ambitious, he's, making, he's out there making music videos, and it sounds okay. But if you're not feeling that song, don't worry. His back catalog is more extensive than that alone. Way back in 2003, he competed on the Austrian children's talent show called Kitty Contest, and he sang the song Foosball, an upbeat ode to football. You guys, even then, he was serving that swagger. He gave major kind of adorable brace face realness. He was bobbing in place, doing his thing. He came ninth. But the important point is this kind of kick-started his passion to write songs. He's been writing songs since he was 11, so he has a lot of experience. Honey! And y'all, we gotta address the pink elephant in the room. Dude has a beard, just like the last Austrian Eurovision winner, Miss Conchita Verst, honey! Now, you may recognize his face. That is because he was one of the 33 shortlisted acts in Germany's national selection, Unser Song. Um, obviously, he submitted his bid for Unser Song before striking and then finalizing a deal with ORF. So, needless to say, he will be withdrawing from the German national selection, taking them down to 32. We would be remiss not to discuss a secret from his past, a bit of a cringe-worthy one that's not publicized too much. Back in 2011, he competed on German X Factor. After his audition, the judges did that thing where they paired him with another contestant, and they formed the group Boys Too Hot. Yes, Boys One Too Hot. Now, y'all, yeah, I gotta say, I just googled that on YouTube, and let me tell you, a lot of not safe for work over 18 inappropriate videos come up, so you might want to put your safe search on. But once you do, you will see this performance. You know, they were eliminated in the first week, and for good reason. It's very wannabe Adam Lambert, but like they went to the thrift shop and got some things and put them on. They're over stylized. It's very Euro dance to the point of Euro trash. Um, you can tell they were put together. They, they aren't really gelling. In the song, they ask, when will I be famous? Well, let's just say after this audition, they had to wait a little bit. But maybe Nathan's moment is now. Now, many of our readers are very optimistic at the prospect of Nathan Trent and him writing his own songs. Dave, that's with two V's, writes, We have a potential frontrunner here. Good for you, Austria. Thomas adds, I think he is one to do well. Austria is not messing this year. 
And ESCAU is drawing some very big comparisons. She says, Interesting voice. His music video reminds me of Laura or Yoost or the Chainsmokers. I'm very excited for something fresh. And Colin says, Nice to see a red-headed guy at ESC. But it is not all positive. Kristoff from Poland simply says, BORING! Now look, ultimately, and with all things ESC, we need to wait for the song, because this is a song contest. I think my first point would be that he has a great voice. Google Nathan Trent Stevie Wonder cover, you'll hear him singing the song as. This is really good. He's really feeling it. He can handle that kind of jazz, smooth beat sound. He's really pouring himself into his performance. He loves to sing, and he's got the voice for it. So, you know, amazing. That's a great starting point. The second point is the problem that we've had with him is what he's been singing. His original material, you know, it's not the strongest. He's a young artist. He's still developing as a songwriter. So that's not quite there yet. But hopefully, working with Christoph Straub, working with ORF, he'll be able to kind of come into contact with great songwriters, producers, and using his raw talent, they will polish it and produce something good. Yeah? Yeah, let's hope! <laughs> In any case, that's what I think. What do you think? Are you feeling Nathan Trent? Do you think that he can build on Zoe's amazing performance last year? Do you think that Zoe's dad is going to be able to influence him? Let us know here on Wooby Blogs. Before I say goodbye, I just want to say happy holidays. Rudolph, he is shaking his eyes. Honey, he has his red nose out. All of us at Wooby Blogs are wishing you the very, very best this season. We'll hope you'll keep watching us. You know, if you get bored over the holidays, we might upload some videos. In any case, we will see you later. Bye! Juicy! Bis später! Ah!